Wreck-It Re Re Ralph 2. Never I'm aware of that. So Wreck-It Ralph goes on the internet and wrecks the internet. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's, a fu it's a fun movie, but uh, it's, it has a really interesting aspect for, uh, for cryptocurrency users. So in the movie, he makes money on YouTube, and then he's able to take that money and pay for an item on, on eBay. Mm -hmm. But anyone that actually understands and knows how the money system works and how the, the banking system works knows that that's not really how it works. You, you don't just make coins on YouTube and then you can just take them and pay for an, an eBay listing like within a few <laughs> seconds later. That doesn't work unless you have a cryptocurrency. Sure. So like it seems like the whole plot is based on the fact mm. that they have a working global peer-to-peer -peer cash system. Sure. Yeah, I mean the, the uh, I think Carl Sagan has this really interesting idea about um, level one, level two, and level three civilizations. And a level one civilization, and you know they've quantified we're this. level zero still. I think I think we're zero point <laughs> seven actually. Yeah, they're getting there. So yeah, they, there's like a math. You know, there's some way you can quantify this. And a level one civilization uses all the power of its local planet. A level two civilization uses all the local uh, the power of its local star. And then a level three civilization is like Star Wars. You know, they can harvest multiple stars. And so, you know, um, he o often talks about like the emergence of English is like the first worldwide level one sort of uh, language. The emergence of uh, the internet is sort of like the emergence of the um, first type one the communication yeah, the system. Yeah, and so, you know, you can think of Bitcoin Cash or the first cryptocurrency which goes big. It's the first type one money, the money for the entire planet, which is supranational. So, you know, that's one of the. Um, that's one of the great promises of Bitcoin Cash is that it's not backed by any central bank. It's backed by com computer science and mathematics similar to the World Wide Web. So that's also the power of it is that it's greater than any one single yeah. nation. But I, I think it's pretty interesting that Disney is releasing movies for, for children. Oh, yeah. Uh, Promoting that, cryptocurrency. That, that shows them that they can just use cash on the internet. Sure. Like it will be cash in real life. Then you can just transfer between services. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think these children will be pretty disappointed uh, <laughs> that it doesn't work like that in no, real life. No, they just need to install the Bitcoin.com wallet and they're good <laughs> to go. <laughs> Unless we make uh, Bitcoin Cash or like peer-to-peer -peer cash systems very popular and uh, usable. Yeah, well, paper money is going out anyway. I saw it just yesterday online. There's only six or seven places in the world that still print them, and one of them is shutting down right now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the number of companies which actually print the money for the Fed or print the money for Hong Kong, they're actually decreasing as well because digital money is the future and everybody knows it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah.